Trying it again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with the other phone. It saved the links I put up, but it won't go live. That's all it posted was my links. Oh, there you go. Hi, everybody. We're live now. We're live. We're live. Are we live or is it Memorex? <laughs> Who's old out there and remembers that? How oh, how old is that? I don't know. All right. Hi, everybody. Let me uh, get this. Eric Hart. Hello. Yes, I'm live. Look how sloppy this is. Um, had a little issues again, but got it working. Hey, everybody. Happy hump day indeed. Jay Taylor, what is up, my friend? Greetings and salutations, everybody. You live as Julian? I'm live as Hooligan. It actually worked. I didn't have to go out. So, yeah. Hi. Look, I got it to work. Yay, me. Yay, me. How about that Kickstarter, everybody? Holy cannolis. <laughs> this is crazy. I, I, Glamart is my, my girl. She's my favorite character we publish. And I'm loving that everyone's uh, really jumping in and checking her out. Um, pass the word on. If you want to know more backstory, we got her books. So you might want to check it out in the store. We got a lot of really groovy things with La Muerte in it. If you want to check out her early adventures, I highly recommend it. She is a badass. And I am so, so happy with this Kickstarter right now. I can't believe we're almost at 200, I believe it is almost. It's... Crazy nuts, crazy nuts. But we're not just having a Kickstarter too. We're also got a nice special event. Let me go ahead and pop this up so I can see all you beautiful people's comments. So nice to be live. Missed y'all. Oh, there you are. Okay. There we are. Hi, Jay Taylor. Everybody, I hope you guys all had a great weekend. Um, I uh, took a couple days off to spend time with my family. My niece graduated last night, so spent some time with my mom and my sisters. And my niece, so um, it was a lot of fun. It was um, it was a lot of fun, but I did miss you guys on Monday. Um, so hi, I'm back. It's good to see you all. I really missed you guys. I hope you liked the video Jimmy and I did for y'all on Friday. Um, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, everybody, happy hump day and hooligan coffee crew, dude. It's almost over. This week is almost over, guys. Get ready. Get ready for the weekend. Is it Memorial Day weekend? I don't know, but look forward to that weekend. And to all you folks out there, cheers. And we do have these lovely stadium cups available on the website right now. And it makes my ice water taste so black and beautiful. Very cool, very cool. So next up, guys, we got a promo run to Phoenix Rising World Goth Day. Exclusives launch on Friday, 9 a.m., um, Pacific Mountain Standard Time. I don't know. I'm confused. In Arizona, we get confused about time zones. It's true. It's true. Um, so I'll figure it out. I know I will. I've gotten better at it. So yeah. So what I want to say to you, show you guys here are the exclusives we have for that, and they are stunning. Um, so I think you guys are really going to like what we're going to be offering. Let's go ahead and start things off with the Apocalyptic This Battle Damage um, Dealer Edition. And yes, Gary Compton, I will uh, reach out to you uh, this afternoon and help you out with your ordering. And I know it's only going to be prints, so I'm there to help you guys. Um, for you who don't know, I was really excited last Monday. Uh, Gary Compton figured out how to watch us live on YouTube, and then he started commenting, and it was amazing. So here is the one of the many beautiful editions we are offering to you this weekend. This stuff will go live at 9 a.m. Pacific time, which is, yeah, I, I'm not even going to try because you guys are going to laugh. But hey, I'm here to entertain you. So here's one of the beautiful books we got. Ooh, beautiful. And that's a beautiful homage to the Frank Frazetta Death Dealer. Um, if any of y'all uh, don't know that image, I remember seeing it a lot on Vans as a kid in the 70s. Frazetta art on big Vans was the shiz night. So, yeah. Next up, Blast the Anthem, Goth Day Edition. This is David Harrigan. This, he really has stepped up his game as of all of our artists have this year. Um, so uh, I'm stunned. I, I didn't even know this was a Harrigan until I looked at the signature. Um, and I, it's breathless. It's so beautiful. These are going to be $25. 
There are limits. We're doing a limit of two per household, so everyone has a chance to get their hands on this beauty. This is absolutely stunning, stunning work. So uh, thank you, David Harrington and all the artists here at Cop and Comics. Cop and Comics. Cop and Comics, words are difficult for me today. <laughs> oh, when aren't they difficult for me every day? Oh, I just wish I could get Brian and Jimmy to change the Epic Live to maybe something through YouTube. Uh, okay, well, we do, um, people, please guys consider this idea. We do do a show on um, YouTube, Steve. Uh, every Monday, uh, we go live on YouTube, so um, there is a YouTube show. So check it out, Steve Bates. That's my reply to you. Um, so if I have anything Facebook, I want to post there. With the trackers they build in, I had to get items after this all done for the site for them. Um, well, I, I'm doing Facebook Live on Wednesdays, and then I do the YouTube show. So check out on our YouTube channel, Coffin TV. Subscribe to the channel and hit that little uh, bell so you get notified anytime we go live or anytime we upload videos because we will re-upload these videos on our YouTube channel. So uh, Steve Bates, um, that's my message to you. So we do upload these on YouTube after the Facebook Live, uh, but there is a YouTube show on Mondays. So definitely share that link and, and get your folks to look at them. Yes, there will. There will be 11 by 17s of all these editions I'm showing you. Uh, this is the Naughty Goth Day edition. Get my finger turned. Finger cinchers. Finger cinchers. I like them. So this is the Naughty World Goth Day. Again, David Harrigan. This is, again, a beautiful, beautiful art. Uh, I don't know. I definitely think all the artists have been eating their Wheaties. Because uh, they are just cranking out some amazing stuff. I mean, look at the artwork for the La Muerta Kickstarter. It is stunning covers. And if I have enough time, I'll run out there and we'll do a quick scan together. And, um, you know, I want to hear your guys' opinion. You know, what is it you're looking for? Uh, there. That is a catacomb. I do catacombs twice a week, Stephen. Monday I have catacombs and Wednesdays I have catacombs. So you get a double header. Yeah, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So yeah, Stephen. Yes, there is. There is a catacombs every Monday. So I do two catacombs instead of one. I do two because everyone loves the catacombs. So I'm just gonna keep putting them out there. So Stephen Bates, if you can hear me, let me know. Um, but yes, I do put catacombs stuff on Mondays as well on the YouTube channel. So let me know. All right, next up. This is a beautiful homage. This is for the uh, homage to Submariner's uh, number one from Marvel back in 1966, if I recall. This is Merciless Onslaught Death Mariner Edition. And there is a 10% of the run will be a night version. And they're going to be randomly uh, in the orders. This is really beautiful with Stephen Butler, Dan Feldmeyer. Uh, nice edition of the Friday 13 cover. I might be out, but uh, send a message, Stephen, to inquiries at Coffin Comics. Um, send me a little list of what you're looking for, and uh, there is a vault sale coming up this weekend as well where these editions will go live. So definitely check on the vault sales that we want on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this weekend. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be stunning. I've got some really cool stuff. I think this is the most amount of vault items this weekend I will be presenting. So maybe on the Spotlight Show, I'll tease you guys with a couple of those. Maybe. Yeah, of course I will. I'll grab a couple of the pretty things. No problem, Steve Bates. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely message me. Um, let me say, uh, you can message me on Facebook, a hooligan. Um, let me know, uh, get in touch with me, Steven. I, I'd love to help you out. That's what I'm here for. All right, next up, Sabine Rich. Again, knocking it out of the park this year. This is All Hollows Evil Sensual Hollow Foil Edition. So 
beautiful. This is, again, our artists have been eating their artistic Wheaties and they are knocking it out of the park this year. Just look at the Kickstarter. Look at what we've been really pushing this year. And it's the artists are just stepping up their games. And again, another beautiful piece, Sabine Rich. Thank you very much. Another stunning piece. And again, stepping up the game. And I, that was terrible, but knocked it out of the park. There it goes. There it goes. All right. New artist for you guys. This is Nightmare Symphony Cowboys from Hell. I love this cover. This cover, I love looking at the uh, zombie cowboys in the background. I really love just looking at the, the old wooden tombstones. This is just beautiful. This, this reminds me of like, God, this would be great if they had a really killer western zombie film. Beautiful, beautiful piece, guys. Check it out. These go live Friday, 9 a.m. Hi. Hi, Miguel. How are you? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Everything goes live in Miami, Arizona. And the last piece, uh, Dan Mendoza. This is this is an adorable piece. I really love it. This is the naughty, pretty, and pink. Just cute. Uh, Dan Mendoza gets that that really naughty, uh, cartoony. Just and it makes it sexy and it's fun. He really has an eye for making things uh, very humorous and adorable looking. I love his stuff. So thank you, Dan. Again, he's, people are just knocking him out of the park. And yes, there will be 11 7 time, 11 by 17, 7 time. <laughs> Here's the 11 17 by. <laughs> oh, I already forgot the name. This is the <laughs> Battle Damage Dealer. Here you go. This is the 11 by 17 print. Again, homaging the talented and amazing artist, Frank Frazetta. Here you go with the uh, Dan Mendoza, 11 by 17, pretty in pink. Thank you, Dan. Again, all the artists have really been just taking their games to a whole nother level for us here at Coffin. And then here you go, the World Got Days. These are stunning, and I hope we uh, do more World Got Day editions. Um, I find these absolutely beautiful uh, and I, I hope we make this a regular thing each year so here are the world got the edition 11 by 70 oh you got those dude I'm so glad Steven I love it when people um, let me know what they get and I love especially um, the photos everyone puts up of their stuff and um, Nicole Rogers I'm glad you uh, the prince got to you in one piece I'm glad you liked uh, the little notes. If I have time uh, on eBay orders, since I pick them, um, usually I'll try to get a little note if I have time for uh, folks just to thank them personally. And sometimes my chicken scratch is uh, my way special thank you, just to show, hey, I'm not typing this out. This is my slappy, my slappy, floppy handwriting. Here is the Death Mariner Knight and the regular edition. Again, beautiful. Beautiful piece, Dan Feldmeyer. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you. Yes, Stephen Butler. Miguel, how are you? Um, it was nice uh, chatting to you briefly yesterday. Here's the Cowboys from Hell. The cover art is beautiful. An 11 by 17 print of it just really enhances the detail, and you can just see just all that wonderful rot and gore coming off of them cowboy zombies. Beautiful piece. I highly, highly love this. This is really, really nicely done. And I really like how he has, uh, again, Lady Death's power energies and her, watching her source of all her energies. Just beautiful watching how each artist interprets it on the page uh, and on the uh, covers. It's really neat. Everyone has their own uh, uniqueness to it and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, everybody, let me take these down real quick. I hope everyone had a great weekend. Memorial Day weekend's coming up, and I hope everyone has some wonderful plans with family and friends. And I hope everybody, uh, sounds like there's a bunch of little cons here locally started popping up, so things are slowly getting back to normal, and that's freaking amazing. Let me just close this real quick, because I'm getting some sound. There we go. There we go, hey, it worked. I closed the door good. 
Yes. Yeah, you're not the only one. It's like there's there's the uh, Submariner homage those those Lady Death abs, dude. She can crack walnuts with those things. She is toned, toned up. All right. Are you ready for some catacomb action? Hopefully, what I show you is not sold out already. But uh, at the rate things go on the catacombs, well, things go fast around these parts. I'll just tell you that. So I'm gonna start off with something new. Again, from Dan the Mendoza. This is. A mock-up edition of Treacherous Symphony, Diabolical Jewel A, B, and C. All three mock-ups in one set. All you Dan Mendoza fans, these are the ones to get. In case you don't know, mock-ups are editions that we use for our videos, like what I just showed you here with some mock-ups. Uh, probably somewhere down the road I will be offering those for sale in the future. Usually I have maybe two to three on uh, average of mock-ups, so for all you big collectors out there, there's something fun, a little something that's uh, a little piece of ourselves, since we use these for our adverts for you guys, our, our fun videos um, we do, uh, showing you off the newest editions or Kickstarter editions and stuff like that. So usually I only have two of each. Once in a blue moon, I will get three, uh, but so far I have only found one set of these. I'm still cataloging everything. Uh, and it's, it's a lot of fun because I, I, I get to see this company's growth while going through these boxes and I get a little misty eye. What can I say? I'm, I'm a sentimental idiot. I love that stuff. I love going back and looking at their past publications just to see how we've grown and seeing how our, just how our art and our books have just get better and better with time. Because that's what we try to do here at Coffin. We're always trying to better ourselves and our product because you guys are worth it. Next up, this is Lady Death, Treacherous Symphony, Homage Edition Mock-Up. That is homaging uh, Superman number one from 1940. Had that beautiful, beautiful little mock-up COAs right there for you. I also got a lot of classic stuff for you today. Um, I know some people are really liking the um, interior pages. Well, I got more of them for you, and I'll be showing those to you later on. Um, next up, I have the Lady Death Wizard Half. Fortunately, the remaining copies do not have COAs, so we went ahead and knocked the price down on that since those awesome Wizard COAs are not in it. Oh, let me put you up for display. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. All right, some more classics. This is, and these are the last ones I'm putting up on the catacombs. Um, some of the old Avatar stuff, I am almost completely out. So what you're going to be seeing on the catacombs that I present to them, these will be the last copies. Um, and after that, I will be sold out. However, do check out the eBay store because I do have some left there. Yeah, you know, it's like Stephen uh, Bates just said, guys. If, you're, if uh, you like what you see on the catacombs and you've been enjoying it, jump on it quick, because it is like a feeding fred frenzy. People just go crazy and scoop them all up. Uh, oh, okay, I just got a cool invite to someone I haven't seen in years. Nice, all right. So this is gonna be it for the Avatar stuff, guys. Once they're gone, they're gone. This is uh, Lady Death Abandon All Hope, number four, this is the rip cover. You guys know me, I absolutely love this guy's style. I always found it to be very unique and extremely beautiful, and it's very eye-catching. I've always felt this way about Juan Jose Rip. Um, just one of my favorite artists I, I discovered while slinging books back in my shop days. Um, so here it is, these are my last, looks like six, seven copies, and that is it. They are sold out. However, like I say, check the eBay store. I do have a lot of stock on there, and I just uh, uh, uploaded some of the more recent direct market edition, or otherwise known as the comic shop editions. So those are also been uploaded as well. Hello. Okay. Wow, we have all these wonderful messages for July 4th weekend. Oh my God, July 4th weekend's gonna be here before we know it. That's nuts. Bye bye, man. It's nice knowing you. Next up, Lady Death, number four. Better go home. Steve Bates, I, I just would like to personally thank you for uh, all your wonderful uh, messages and thank you for checking out um, the catacombs. I really do appreciate it. 
Same with all you folks at Kenneth Rhodes, uh, just Miguel, all you all you regulars uh, that watch. Um, thank you. It's it's been a joy doing these for a little bit over a year with you guys, and um, I just love doing it. Consider it used to be the one thing that made me the most nervous. Now it's my most fun thing I look forward to on my weeks. Next up, another last of the last. This is Lady Death. A Bed to No Hope, number three. Juan Jose Rip again. Just look at the, the power and the beauty he puts in his art. I mean, his cross hatching just blows my mind. It's just really, I just find it very attractive and appealing to my eyes. It's beautiful pieces. Again, these are the last of the last. Ooh, here we go. And I only have one left of these. This is the Abandon All Hope, issue three. This is the premium edition. Last copy. Last chance, last chance for this dance with this beautiful book and this beautiful lady on the cover. Booyah shaka. Bam! Hey, you know what's one thing that's cool that's going on these days? Movie theaters are opening up. I'm going to go... Black is such a happy oh, that's my life. Um, So... <laughs> Sorry, honey, I'm doing a live show. Um, this is Abandon a Hope number three commemorative. This is also my last cover, but I want to go see uh, Godzilla vs. Khan on the big screen. That is what I am looking forward to. Boom. All right, here we go. Got a half issue, Abandon All Hope. Half. This is the, um, where is it? Oh, it's just the regular edition. There we go. Half issue. Again, these are the last of the last. Yes. Miguel, Godzilla, you guys know my love for the big guy. But you know what? I also have lots of love for Gamera. Love Gamera too. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, I recommend the Gamera trilogy from the 90s. Blows away most Godzilla movies made within the last 20 years, uh, in my opinion. Just phenomenal films. Probably some of the best kaiju films you will ever see. Next up, this is Lady Death, 10th Anniversary, Serpents. Yeah, these are my last copies. Once these are gone, they are gone. I don't have any more. I've been through all my boxes with all the old stuff, and that's it. There are no more. You guys have just been eating this up. This is Lady Death Annual Painted Edition. Again, I only have one or two copies, and that is it. They are gone. Um, but again, check the eBay store if you're looking for anything else. All right, next up, I have Lady Death, 10th Anniversary, Queen of the Dead. And that is it for the classic stuff. Now on to the really fun, groovy stuff. Let's see what time I'm on. Oh, my God. I've been having so much for you, fun with you guys that I didn't realize how late it was. All right, this is Lady Death Standard Edition uh, Malevolent Decimation Test Cover. Signed by Brian back in uh, February 3rd of 2021. And this was the approved cover, and you can see the inside as well. I only have uh, one of these. So, yum, yum, come get it. Get it. It needs a lovely home and a beautiful frame, and I think it needs, deserves to be on your wall. Next up, here we go. This really popular cover. This is the selfie edition for Malevolent Decimation number one. This is a test cover sheet. As Brian says, approved. That means everything looks great, everything lined up, the colors matched up. Everything looks good. Brian approved it. Start production on the cover. Getting this book out to you folks. Again, most of these test sheets, I only have one of. Now, these are really neat. This is the Malevolent Decimation Premier Foil Edition. And where all that pink is, is where they later on uh, print the um, foil uh, to give you that beautiful foil effect on our books. So this is the test sheet. And then I have the other chest sheet where it's basically a shadowy outline showing you uh, where everything will be filled in right there. This is really Black cool. Black is such a happy color. Oh, you Black is such a happy <laughs> Sorry, honey. I'm live. There we go. And next up, this is Malevolent Decimation, the Naughty Edition. Ooh, beautiful. Again, signed by Brian with his signature. It comes with an approved note. Here we go. This is the approved Elite Edition. Beautiful. Stephen Butler. And of course, Dan Mendoza. 
This one, however, is rejected because, you notice, the interior is actually different. Boom. Oh, let me text that back. Oops, nope, never mind. Ah, push wrong button. Don't do that. You know, I think I have dead fingers because sometimes to go back on my phone, it doesn't seem to register, so I, I have dead finger syndrome. You can't read the warmth from my finger because I have the warmth. They're cold. All right, now for the thing that I was really shocked Brian gave these to me a while back, and it floored me because this was the grooviest, coolest thing uh, on the catacombs, I feel. These are the interior pages for swimsuit. This is page number seven, page number eight. One of a kind pieces here, folks. Signed by Brian, showing that he approved these additions. So again, more test sheets. Uh, if you guys like stuff like this, which it seems like you do, uh, I'll definitely see if I can dig up some more of this stuff. Like I say, I've got a lot of really interesting more cover test sheets coming your way, so stay tuned. Here we are. It's another swimsuit interior page, 21 and 22. Did I say that right? 21? No. Yes, it is 21 and 22. Got Clip Turner in the back. And I already said Monty Moore. Boom! Monty Moore in the back. Bam! God, these are really beautiful. I, I was so excited when last year we, we decided to do a new swimsuit edition. Because I remember the 90s, that was the crazy thing to do, swimsuit editions. This is page 18 and 19, Nathan Zerdy fans. And look at that, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And these are the pages that appear inside of the swimsuit editions. On the back side, we have John Boy Myers. This is a beautiful, beautiful image. I love the coloring. And I also love it just has that beautiful, just spooky look about it just absolutely stunning and my goodness my eyes are getting bad <laughs> wow just just admiring these pieces these are they again the artists this swimsuit edition you guys seen it those who have picked it up it's really beautiful interior art it was really fun to see chris enoch did page number 17 and number 18 this is elias chetsu Oh, go. Man, I love looking at all these beautiful comments from you guys. God, it's so good. I miss this. Yeah, it's great to see the time with our family, but I, I, I miss looking at the text and your guys is, uh, you know, making fun of me flubbing the English language because I'm good at that. I'm good at that. All right, let's see what else do we got here. Mm -hmm. Here we are, another interior test sheet, number page 15 and page 16. That Jesse Wichman image right there. And on the other side, there's the Paolo Pantolina. Beautiful pieces, guys. Again, thank you for contributing to our swimsuit edition. That was a lot of fun. And this is one of my favorite images. I absolutely love that. I thought Dan Mendoza just put a lot of spooky humor in this one. I absolutely loved it. So this is uh, interior page 9 and 10, Dan Mendoza. I love that her she, he's, she's doing like a little peace sign with her toes, which is cute as all can be. And she's like flicking up sand. I love the little um, skeletal and the bones making up her umbrella. Absolutely love that. What do we have? Lorenzo on the back. Boom. Beautiful. Hooked on phonics works. Well... <laughs> yes, they can be. Oh, my word. I've got an itchy nosy. That's my Japanese name because of allergies. Itchy nosy. <laughs> There's my joke for you today. All right. And last but definitely not. Oh, wait. No, I got a big surprise for you guys. This is page 16 or uh, 13 and 14. Jose Arce. Boom. And another Merhoff. Boom. Those are it for the interior pages for swimsuit. Definitely, since you guys are like that, uh, I will be pep, salt, and peppering them throughout the shows. And last but definitely not least, uh, this was a big surprise for me. I didn't know. I thought I just had, oh, great, I have a, a naughtier edition for y'all uh, that I found uh, while my in my adventures for loading up the catacombs. But lo and behold, 
Bam! There was a Monty Moore remark inside. Oh, surprise, surprise was I. I have not found any more, so this is the last Monty Moore remark inside a Lady Death Naughtier hardcover edition. Wow, what a great surprise to find that. So that's everything I have for you guys this week. I will be back on Monday on YouTube. But also, I will see you guys Friday, and I'm sure we'll be doing cat. Oh my god, Brandy's spying on me. Okay. How long have you been there? I can't tell you because I have to kill you. Oh god, okay. Well, what's some of the. <laughs> you really freaked me out. Stop that. <laughs> I'm just like, why don't I hear more wind blowing and, and, and Brandy's got it's her head sticking out? With <laughs> 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 the balloon. Are you okay, saying that's like... what my voice sounds like? No. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh. this is the last time you saw Julian. This is the last time? What, you're firing me? No! <laughs> I can never fire you. Okay. I'll only make you sleep with the fishies, see? Oh, great. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just just, just choke on the water and sleep with a fish and float maybe to the top where the gases build up and, you know, they find your body. That got really morbid quick, huh? <laughs> okay. Bye, Bye Randy. Bye. Also, hey guys, the warehouse crew is really firing on all cylinders trying to get their orders out for you guys in a timely manner. So if you get a chance uh, when you're doing uh, any messaging or anything, you know, give a shout out to the warehouse crew. They are really working hard. And these new hires and this new team we have you are... You me cry! You know it's true. They are Girl, really doing know, amazing jobs. Oh, God. <laughs> Yes. You know what? We should just play that and you just pretend to sing. Yeah, because they never sang a thing. So, there you go. It's sad, but true. All right, guys. Like Metallica. That was Brandy Sparkles, everybody, making her regular appearance here on the show. Uh, all right. I just want to say um, it's great to be back live with you guys. Uh, thank you very much uh, for checking out the video we did on Monday um, that Jimmy uh, uploaded to show you guys. Um, I personally would just like to wish you guys all a wonderful evening. This week is almost over, and this Kickstarter has just begun. So there's a lot more surprises coming up your way. I'm sure I'll see you guys if we're doing any cauldrons. I'll be there, bells on, and a big sombrero. Anyways, I'm Julian the Hooligan. I am sworn to you guys. Thank you much for watching. Get your Sworn Fest tickets while they're still available. I'm out! Bye!